Feindlich SMG gesichtet. And just like that, a new series has come to prominent domain. Welcome everybody. Welcome. It's your boy Jordy Jordan. Hello, hello anybody that's new to this video. If anybody new comes in, thank you. Please subscribe. But Battlefield 1 has finally come out. I was an early enlister, so I got to play it three days early. And this is what you're actually seeing here. And I want to go ahead and talk about some of the things I've experienced in the game. Some of the things I'm excited about. And some of the things that you should be excited about. Uh, this video's whole purpose is if you're on the fence and you're thinking like, Man, do I want to get Battlefield 1? Do I want to go ahead and get in Infinite Warfare? If you're torn between the two, this is the type of video that is going to be for you. Uh, I'm going to try to put a couple things in the video itself to kind of like show different aspects of the game off. And I want to go ahead and highlight some of the features of the game to kind of just let you understand what you'll be getting if you purchase the game itself. One of the first things, and that kind of struck me, because I was just playing the Infinite Warfare beta just last week, and one of the things that I had with that game, the trouble that I had with that game, was the sound was horrible. They did such a bad job with the sound design of that game, and to me, sound is the most important aspect of any game that you could ever play. It's more important than graphics, it's more important than gun balancing, it's more important than anything. If you want to see an example of sound being conveyed to the point where it's the core of the game design, look at the horror genre. Look at games like Slender Man, where the whole game is just sound, creep me at, creepy atmosphere, and tension. And sound builds so much of a game. For example, I want to go ahead and show you this clip. I'm not going to commentate over it, and I'm going to turn it up a little bit, but this is the sound the behemoth makes when it comes in on this map. An enemy airship has arrived. We have lost objective button. I know that might not seem like much, but that was the first time I ever heard the behemoth come in on this map. And when the behemoth came in and it had those big fog horns echoing off in the area, it made the hairs on my arms stand up. It felt like something big was coming and it was going to actually take effect of the battlefield itself. And that, to me, is great sound design. You might not notice, so you might want to go and click back. If you're wearing a headset, you can tell what side everybody is on me at any given time. Because you can hear people's footsteps, them rustling grass, them being in mud, them stepping in water. Anything that in this game that can make a sound is done very, very well. And then there's this, you where you have dynamic map design. Everything in this game is dynamic. And you'll see like this blimp, it doesn't crash in, a, in, in the same place every time. When the blimp goes down, the blimp goes down, it goes down, and it stays there. At least it does for a while. At least it, um, I didn't notice if it ever disappeared. But... It's the little things that make this game special. And I'm going to tell you right now, this game is special. When 10 years go by and people are looking back at, at games and game, first-person shooter genre, people remember certain games. They remember Battlefield Bad Company 2. They remember Call of Duty 4. And the reason they remember these games is because they set the bar and they put the benchmark out there that other games that are going to precede it that are going to have to look at and be like, this is what we need to do, this is how we do it. And Battlefield 1 is going to be one of those games. It's one of those games that you're going to remember five, six years from now and be like, where are the games like Battlefield 1? And you could get on the bandwagon right now because it does so many things right. And the things that it does do wrong, you'll be able to overlook. There are certain maps on the game I don't like, but that's be given with every first-person shooter. But I feel, as a whole, this is the very first game on my PlayStation 4 that I feel belongs to be a PlayStation 4 game. When I first envisioned the PlayStation 4 coming out, this is the type of game that I expected to get. The gritty, the realism, the way things are dynamic. Like, look at my gun right now. Stop and just look at my gun. The reason my gun is muddy is because my character fell down and died in the mud and somebody hit him with an adrenaline shot and they brought him back. If I 
was to start on a fresh life, my gun will be clean. When it rains, your weapon gets water. Your weapon gets wet. The water hits it, and the water falls off the gun in, d in distinct images. The weather changes throughout the level. Every time that you play the game, the weather could be different. It could be raining in this forest. It could be smoky. There could be, um, you know, different things that could happen in each each individual map. And it's fucking awesome. It literally is. It changes the dynamic of the game. If you don't believe me, imagine on Battlefield 4 and you got somebody riding a jet. And they're riding that jet well. They're, ma they're stopping your team from capturing flags. They've got all your tanks trapped in a base. And then all of a sudden, a, a, a sandstorm comes in. And all of a sudden, the jets can't see anything. Now you have a chance to ride your tanks out. Now you have a chance to get back in the base. And it's... It's good. It's fun because it's dynamic. It adds a new emergence to the map. It makes it so that every map plays differently almost every time because you can't count on the weather to come in. And it also is a part of the game balance itself. You know, there's a ch the map actually factors in. And even the maps I don't like, like I said before, the game is so beautiful and the game is so well done that I look at it and think, I can deal with this. I'm not a big fan on graphics. I always say graphics should take a backseat to gameplay. But this is the best of both worlds. So who is this game not for? Which person should buy Infinite Warfare over Call of Duty... Uh, <laughs> over Battlefield 1? I have a buddy. He goes by the name of Lost Souls Gaming. And he does a channel that's ma mainly camping. And... When I see, like, the stereotypical person that plays first-person shooters, I feel like this game would not appeal to them whatsoever. Because it doesn't have the same factor that they have whatsoever. Because it changes the dynamic of what a party does. For an example, in a standard Call of Duty match, every man can play basically for himself. There's very actual need of tactics in a Call of Duty match. Especially in, like, a match called TDM, where it's just, you're doing the best that you can, Everybody does the best that they can. The team with the better players that doing the best that they can usually wins. And you can talk about whatever. You can talk about dick and fart jokes. You can talk about rapping. You can talk about whatever you want to talk about. And Battlefield doesn't really lend itself to that. Um, Battlefield is a more of a team-based shooter. And to get the full effect of the game out, you need to be playing as a team. And I'm using this clip right here for a great example of that. I have the artillery truck. And the artillery truck is a fast vehicle that allows me to get to, to get the flags quickly. On the microphone right now, I'm asking for help from my team. And they're telling me their own route. So at this point, I know backup is coming. So I got to just contest this flag or have a presence on this flag until the rest of my squad actually gets here. And when you see the plan come together, you it, you get a sense of of of, of I'm at a loss of words you get you get a sense of gratitude that is kind of unexplainable and people that don't want to concentrate on the game want to play a game that's very um lace lapsadaisical and just wants to talk with their friends and just hang out in the PlayStation 4 parties infinite warfare might be more for you or Battle or Black Ops 3 or just stay on that. For play, players that actually want to play and compete and enjoy that element and enjoy that sense of accomplishment every time that they, something comes together or have those epic moments that Call of Duty can't have, Battlefield is for you. Because Battlefield is a more fun game than Call of Duty in my opinion. Even when I play Call of Duty I always consider Battlefield more fun because it has a lot less things in it that are bullshit. But that's my video. Hope you guys liked it. Leave me a like. 1,500 likes, please.